moving towards the transition, yeah. uh, what do you see as the biggest threat to a peaceful transition into a sustainable society? Deprivation of food and housing. If you put people out of their houses and they don't have money to buy food, they're going to break into things, break into stores, supermarkets. So we're going to call out the militia, not us, the establishment. We'll call out the army and navy and police to control people. They're going to have so many criminals, they're going to have to put them in football fields. You know, they can't put them in jail. They couldn't afford to feed them. Then later on, the police can't get paid because nobody works anymore. So you're going to have nothing but trouble. And I'm so sorry that the Venus Project is not easy to understand. For most people, you're going to have to try to get to people. Contrary to everything It's you not know. easy yeah. to understand. Yeah. All the same, same things. Yeah. Really. Now, people believe in God because they're insecure. They don't know where the world, all this came from. Where did life, how did life begin? Where did the earth come from? How come nature is so harmonious? They believe that. Mm -hmm. And they need to be educated in where all this came from. I'm going to try to answer that fast. If you take a steel ball and you heat it at 10 million degrees, it goes, pfft, becomes radiant energy. But that steel ball doesn't exist in that form, but now it exists in radiant energy. You're made up of all the plants you've eaten and all the animals you've eaten. They've always been here. The material you're made of is not brand new. It's made by the energy from the sun, what you eat, what you drink. Do you understand that? Yes. So if you put a human being in a, in a glass ball and you feed him everything, that glass ball will weigh the same. If sunlight comes in, the, glass, the stuff in the glass will weigh a little more over a period of time. Now, if you die in the glass ball and you turn into a skeleton, everything in the glass ball, your blood, will be drops hanging in them and still weigh the same. Mm -hmm. You can't create matter or destroy it. You can convert it from one form of energy to another. So when you eat animal tissue, that tissue is converted to human tissue. Now if you put artificial coloring in food and you pump chickens to grow faster so their legs, so you can sell them, that'll make your cells grow faster. That's cancer cells. Mm -hmm. So artificial flavoring, artificial coloring will not exist in the future. Animals will have to be brought up under natural conditions. Do you understand what I'm saying? So when people say nature is harmonious, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Sometimes the Sami wipes out people and everything. Sometimes a meteor hits and kills animals and people. Yes. Um, this is back to the question about drugs. Yeah. Um, you said that if um, a drug addicted peop uh, man um, doesn't want help, um, they put can, him in, uh, they, they don't put him in uh, mental hospital. Yeah. Um, but no, I uh, didn't say I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't say that. I said if they thought it was good, they had to be educated. And it's up to the educators at the time to take the best means to reach that type of person. In other words, you can't change the Ku Klux Klan by conventional reason or logic. It has to be in terms they find acceptable. That's why I want to tell you how I change them. Do you understand? You can't reach people with reason. So we have groups of people that specialize in changing human behavior. 